Hello. So, there's a new version of Kerbal out. I actually don't know how long ago it came out, but I only noticed it today. And uh, I thought I would go ahead and take a tour with a stock rover and see what's changed. Um, it doesn't appear that the physics have changed any. This rover runs exactly like it would have run in earlier physics, in earlier versions. It's actually not a great rover because it tips really easily. Um, but that's only on Kerbin. On the moon, it doesn't tip and it works fine. But uh, here on Kerbin, the traction is too high and the gravity is too high, so it will tip, even with even with that amount of SAS involved. Uh, although I had it off, so that was probably not helping. Um, I don't know whether the textures have changed, but they certainly added some cool new buildings, and I really like these buildings a lot. Uh, I don't know if they... Uh, they may be a bad idea to put so close to the launch site just because they may actually uh, make high part count launch launches even more taxing than they currently are, but um, I really love how these buildings look. Whoever they got to do the actual structure of the buildings is really, really cool. Uh, I like this person because they really made some interesting looking buildings with a very low part, with a very low uh, uh, face count, a pretty low, a pretty low face count. It's not hugely low, but it's low enough to be useful uh, and deployable. And it's also got some really cool concave areas that actually have collision meshes that are proper. See? And that's neat as hell. Um, but you know what this makes me want? I want these buildings to be parts that I can deploy. And I want to be able to build a base on the moon out of these buildings. A base on Mars, or uh, Duna, out of these buildings. Uh, I want to be able to use these buildings. And these buildings are cool, not just because they look neat, and not just because they would have a good low physics, uh, uh, they wouldn't require any physics, uh, but also because they give meaning to rovers. If you've got a base like this uh, with, with a lot of roads and a lot of complex topology, and you've got places to drive under and places to drive over, now all of a sudden rovers have meaning, because rovers can maneuver through these areas uh, easily, and you can't do that with an airplane, you can't really do that with a lander, and you don't want your Kerbals to be walking everywhere, it just takes forever. Uh, but you can drive around in these bases really easily. So, let us deploy these. Um, let me build, let me go ahead and build a mod, you know, using your, uh, using your buildings, and let me, let me make like a KAS style system where I can deploy them on Mars, uh, and build this widespread base with a very low physics requirement. And, uh, and then build rovers to, to move materials between them or whatever. And each of these buildings can have a function, and I can make that function. So, for example, I might have these fuel facilities. They might have uh, a connection that allows me to uh, uh, pump fuel into a rover and then drive a rover across town to fill up fuel in some other building, like one of those guys over there. And, you know, these, these might create uh, 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 science or something, and this might be a warehouse that builds things, and I might have to... Sh drag parts from the warehouse to the science building, and I think that would be a lot of fun, and you could do a lot of stuff with that. Uh, and that is a huge opportunity. Unfortunately, these buildings aren't, as far as I know, available uh, independently. And I don't believe that uh, right now there is any uh, significant mod. There might be a mod that I'm not aware of, but I'm not aware of any mod that allows you to place buildings during gameplay. Um, and allows those buildings to have functionality similar to uh, what you might get out of a facility. Uh, since I'm not sure, uh, I, I don't know that there are any of those mods. I haven't seen any of those mods, and I'm not sure that I have the ability to create them. I'm not confident in that. Um, let's go ahead and try and go up those stairs. But I'd like to see it. That would be so much fun, uh, and it would add so much to the deep space uh, capabilities of the civilization, the longevity of the game, and of course the ability for rovers to matter. So that would just be really cool, and I really hope that happens. Um, and if these buildings are available as independent models, maybe I'll actually go ahead and make that structural uh, construction system, but I don't think they are and my own modeling skills are not good enough to make these kinds of incredibly well-designed buildings. Um, these, these buildings are so well-designed, they must have had a professional... Uh, they must have had a professional architect lay them out. They just look incredibly nice um, and convincing as hell. And moreover, uh, 
I actually wonder whether or not they're taken from existing buildings because they're too nice. They're just too nice. Make them independent models so that I can use them. Uh, and if they are independent models, someone tell me where those models are kept because I want to use them. This is so neat. Can I go in the doors? No, there's nothing, no functionality in the buildings yet, but they have doors, so it would be easy to make functionality. Uh, and I know that you wouldn't normally use these kinds of buildings for space bases, but I really recommend it because these buildings look so great. Um, I recommend just turning these things here into air uh, airlocks, and that's basically the only change you'd need to make. Um, I wonder if there's anything interesting over here. Uh, no, there's more staircases. Okay. I was thinking maybe this bridge led across to a roof that you wouldn't be able to reach. Uh, this is too nice. Too damn nice. And look at that. This facility just looks incredibly cool. Did it always look that cool? I don't think so. I think this is part of the update. Anyhow, props to everyone who uh, designed these buildings. This is uh, pretty epic, but there is, as you can see, a minor bug. So if you want to fix that for me, um, that'd be great. And, uh, oh, what's this? Oh, I like this. This is very, very hopeful. I didn't accidentally install some kind of killer mod, right? This is the next upgrade. This is the next standard uh, patch. Uh, this is going to be this is going to be neat. Um, I'm really looking forward to where this is going, guys. All right, that's it.